A lot of the time we think we need the best piece of gear, the best thing right then and there. But we probably don't. We probably don't know the thing that we need because we've not used anything else. If you've not used the beginner level stuff, if you've not learned and built your experience up with other things, can you really handle the pro stuff? Well, that's kind of not what this is about, but you know, let's, let's get into it. If you have a load of camera gear, you need to get it around somehow. This backpack has been with me for quite a while now. For the price, it's probably the best bag out there. It's far from perfect, but I've been really happy with it until this happened. Now this happened after two years of abuse. It's probably not a secret that I treat gear really badly. I don't do it on purpose. I think that my background in construction, where tools really are tools just to be used, makes me treat camera gear like a tool and not as something precious. And this bag is no different. When shooting this video, a security guard tried to lift me up by this bag. It's been through the ringer. The question is, what do I like about it? First of all, the price. For $39.99, you would really struggle to get anything else that was as well made as this bag and as big. I like the orange interior. It makes it really easy to see the things that you've got in there. I've had bags that were black inside and I've lost stuff in there a few times. There's plenty of room in the body of the bag. It's also the only bag in the price range that seems to fit a 15 inch laptop, which is what I've got and what I need, obviously. There's a tripod clip that works. It doesn't work great, but it does work. So again, kind of no complaints. What don't I like? It's too shallow to fit some things like the C100. Isn't a deal breaker, but it'd be nice to have a bag that would fit this in sometimes. As I said, the zipper did eventually bust. I was on a job in London, I lived in Manchester, I had a roller bag and had this on my back. I was scared shitless that this would just fly open and all my gear would just drop out. So I was like walking with it, holding the back shut, like holding my back. It wasn't a good look. But to be honest, one side of the zipper seems to work, it's the other side that doesn't. It didn't fall apart again. The design of where this bag opens is pretty awful and that's like my biggest complaint. It's not had the most time put into the design of it, the ergonomics of it. The way the bag open means it's prone to just falling open, being unzipped by someone else, someone trying to nick your stuff or just being a dick. So the laptop section was the first bit that fucked me up. If you put both zips to the top and then fill your bag up and start walking, these are around your back. This gradually starts to unzip. And as you walk more, that happens. That shit me up as well. That isn't. The simple solution to that is just make sure both the zips are at the bottom. And it's only happened to me once because of that. But if your laptop falls out onto the street, even one single time, that's a fuck up in my book. Lastly, there's no way to get your camera out easily, especially when you're wearing it and walking. You really do have to set this bag down, open it up and flip the top up. That means putting it down. You're putting down the bit that goes on your back onto the floor, the straps and the back there have potential to get dirty and wet or whatever. You go to put that back on, not a great time. Also, this does come with a rain cover. I kind of like the fact that it's not a built-in rain cover. It does mean you might lose it. I've not lost mine. I just don't know where it is at the moment. Once you've got that rain cover on, you can't access anything in this bag. You have to take it off then. <laughs> this bag is great for getting your gear from one place to another. It's not great for accessing it when you're on the go, when you're about in the streets. So it's been time to upgrade. Between the zip breaking and not being able to get stuff out of it on the go and wanting to pare down the things that I own. I have four or five camera bags that I use all the time just to get the right feature set that I want. And I don't want to have four bags hanging around. I'd rather just have one. So I've upgraded to this. No, not just a cardboard box. This guy, you've probably seen a load of other reviews on this bag. It's the Pro Tactic 
from Low Pro. It's the BP 450 AW Mark II. I've been looking for a new bag for a while. I don't have a long history of camera bags. The first bag that I owned was the one that came with my first camera. It was a simple shoulder jobby that would probably be about eight quid on Amazon right now. The next bag was similar in style, but bigger. I've still got it, it's a great bag, in fact. It's the Nova 200 AW, and it's where this guy usually lives. It's a great bag, it was awesome for wedding shooting because I could open it up, have it sat on the floor by my side and just grab stuff as I needed it. And then with it still open, you could actually just pick it up and wear it and just have the stuff to hand. The downside was the comfort level was pretty low. The third bag was the Amazon one. I've stuck with that for just over two years now. I've got another small backpack that's you know good for on the go and a bum bag, fanny pack, which I actually do use sometimes. Hopefully I can get rid of some of them. Okay, let's get it out of the way first. This bag has got a lot of coverage already. It looks pretty nice and I know a lot of YouTubers have it and have done videos about it. I didn't just get it because of that. I did see it because of that. I wouldn't have known it existed if it wasn't for the likes of Peter McKinnon and insert everyone else who uses it, sort of talking about this bag. But I've done my research. I've done my own research. I've not just jumped on the bandwagon. I've thought about the things that I needed from a bag. I've used the Amazon bag for a long time now. To be honest, this wasn't even my first choice, but the Shimoda system was a little bit out of my price range, if I'm being completely honest. So the things that made me want this bag were the way it opens up at the back, the multiple points you can access your camera when it's on, the decent sized laptop section, the depth of the main compartment, the roller bag strap, the semi-solid outer, the waist strap, the webbing for customization, the internal color scheme, the interesting internal dividers. So obviously this is kind of just an unboxing. I haven't actually had the chance to use it yet, but really I just wanted to make a point about upgrading things. I really like the old bag, but after a while you get to learn the flaws and the extra things that you know you need. But this usually comes from experience. So really this is more a review of the old bag, in which case I really like it. I can highly recommend it. I've not really got any skin in the game other than the fact that if you use the affiliate link in the description, I'll get a little kickback, no extra cost to you, you can buy that bag and enjoy it for a couple of years. If you don't treat it as badly as I did, you'll probably have it for a long time. It's perfect for taking a medium amount of gear on a trip, especially one where you might need to edit your photos or video on your laptop. It's 36 quid for fuck's sake, and it's Amazon. If you hate it, just return it. Can't really lose. I'm looking forward to getting to know this backpack as well as I know the Amazon one. It'll take a while to figure out how much I like it or don't. The fact that I've put in the time and the effort to figure out what I want from a bag means that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna suit me. And, you know, come back here in two years time and maybe I'll do a review of this one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.